What up, Dope fam? Uh, today we're gonna be reviewing my uh, sunroof. Um, a lot of people were asking, requesting this video, asking me what kind of sunroof I have. Uh, it's a basic sunroof. Uh, it's called the Land Rover sunroof, so it came off of Land Rover. So uh, we're gonna take a look at it right now, and then I'll show you guys everything how it works and is it worth it? Because I know there's another type of sunroof uh, everybody else has it's called the Wabasta. I'll probably do a review on that one too. I know some people who have that sunroof, but yeah, we'll review my sunroof today, and then we'll do a versus on, in a second video. So yeah, let's get to it. So this is my sunroof. It's not opened up all the way. Just tilt it up. So uh, let's get inside and show you guys how it looks. So this is the inside of the truck, obviously. You got the black leather trim. You got the sunshades, one on each side. Just uh, rest back here. And then you got the sunroof. The, the sunroof itself is controlled by this toggle switch. Um, if I go to the left, it'll close it. In the middle, it does nothing. I go to the right, and it opens it. Middle, stops it. So it's just simple three functions. Middle, nothing. Left, close. Right, open. Um, I did have it here before. If you guys remember before, before I did the the color changing light bar, I had the switch over here, and then I did the light bar and I moved over the switch over here. I like it better here, to be honest, it looks more stockish, like it came with the truck. And then I have my light bar switch here. But you can put the switch anywhere, so we'll have it up here before. Right in this area. Um, you can probably put it down here in this area. But yeah, it's just a switch. Um, Let's get it open all the way. So that's opened there all the way. Let's see what it looks like from the outside. It has these uh, little covers, so yeah, if the glass breaks, you can just pop these open, unscrew it, and replace the glass. And as I said before, so this is a Land Rover sunroof. So this was on a Land Rover before, and obviously, you know, they took it off a Land Rover and just got it modified to fit into a Silverado. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's close it all the way and see what that looks like.
five fifty for it. Uh, that's including installation price, and I did also uh, get the headliner redone in black suede. So that's pr a pretty cheap uh, price, to be honest, for a sunroof. I know the other uh, ones called the Wabastos. Those are more like an OEM aftermarket look. They have, have their switch column right here, and it's like three to four buttons. And those run about a thousand here in Arizona. I think like 950, 1000 bucks installed. I don't know about ever in the world, but I think over here it's a thousand. And those are a little bit, I think I want to say they're wider, but around the same size. And they do have the sunshade as well, but theirs is like a one piece. But like I said, uh, if you guys want, I can review the Wabasa ones as well. I do have a couple homies who have that sunroof installed. So we can do a comparison, Wabasa versus Land Rover. Um, I don't have any leaks. I've never had any problems. I think I've had the sunroof for two, two, three years already. Perfect. And we've had no problems. But yeah, I guess it all depends where you get it installed. You know, how professional they are, how good they install it. As long as they know what they're doing, it should be fine. So I know this is a mainly a truck page, you know, I work on my truck, you guys enjoy looking at truck stuff, but I'm also working on my wife's cruise, has been in multiple accidents, so it's not the best look of cruise, but yeah, I'm gonna start uh, working on it, replacing a couple parts, I did just get a rear bumper for it, so I'm gonna be installing that, let me know if you guys want to see videos of me working on my wife's cruise. I'm gonna be installing a new rear bumper, probably uh, fixing the front bumper. I will be getting a new fender. She wants to do uh, seat covers in them. So I'll be ordering some seat covers, I'll be doing those. And then she wants me to posit up the whole car on matte black. We'll be getting rims for it as well. So that's something you guys will be interested in watching. Comment down below. You know, should be some good content for YouTube. But yeah guys that's uh that's my sunroof make sure to like comment subscribe guys so turn on the bell notification to get notified every time I post a new video um truck fest is coming around the corner November I want to say 31st, might be the 30th. But the last day of November and December 1st will be in Tucson uh, for AZ Truck Fest. It's going to be a two day event, Saturday and Sunday. Make sure to catch me there. I will be there. So say what's up. Come take pictures with me. Come check out the truck. Um, other than that, catch you guys in the next video.